Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Rand Knows Tech with TechInform.us. Taking off one of the larger requests that I've gotten recently um, is actually the, the Mac Dock Tour. I've done this before. I don't know why it's such a popular video. Um, but in the past I've done probably two or three of them and it's always yielded pretty good reviews or um, view counts rather comments and even some response videos. By the way, response videos, I don't get a whole lot. If you guys may want to make one, I don't see of any reason why I wouldn't accept it. So uh, feel free to make one, send it over to me and I'll put it up on the video. Maybe it'll help us both out. Anyways, I don't have tons of special stuff down here. I know somebody told me to clean my dock out, and I actually have. This is this is my clean, somewhat useful uh, orientation down here. I'll make this larger. Uh, watch the video in 1080p. I know that if you watch it in 360 or 480, it's really small. 720 is just distorted, but the 1080 looks good. I know it takes a little bit longer to buffer, uh, but it does look much clearer. Naturally, I've got Finder. I do a lot of work here from within Finder. I like stuff in Icon View. Watching other videos recently, I see that some people like the list or uh, the hierarchy here or whatever the hell this is called. And I, I guess I'm just used to this. Being a Windows user for a long time before switching to the Mac, this has just always made more sense to me to have stuff oriented this way. I like to be able to go through it and have the big thumbnails of stuff if I were to go into System Library. Um, I'd have a, a thumbnail of whatever kind of file that is. Uh, so obviously Finder is important. Launchpad, I have actually taken the time to put stuff together in Launchpad and folders. I've got an Apple folder here, editing. This is where I keep all my editing software. Um, quite honestly, I never use it, but I did take probably 20 minutes to a half hour to uh, build this together and put all my apps in there. Uh, but again, I don't use it. Dashboard, something else I rarely use. Uh, I do have a couple widgets in here. I've got iStat Pro, I believe that's called. I really only use it for my battery health, which as you can see, I need to do another reset. I'm only on 97% with 48 cycles. I've got some CPU stuff up in there. Do not know what this app here is called. I could probably find out. Looks like Sunlit Earth Widget 3.2. Um, just kind of interesting watching this over the course of a year. It's really dramatic the, how the sun moves, well, how the earth moves in relation to the sun. I've got a calendar, weather, and some stocks. Back over here. Safari is my default browser of choice. It's made by Apple. Stuff works really seamlessly. I like the way the bookmarks are without icons, just text. Really easy. Uh, I don't need that one up there anymore. But uh, I, I really like Safari. It's quick. I like the way it downloads stuff. It's just the browser that I'm used to and the one that I prefer. I also have Firefox down here. Since I run and maintain three YouTube channels, actually more than that, but really three on a daily basis, I have one browser for each channel and coordinating email that goes with that channel. So I have this email here is actually, and this YouTube channel is for my vlog channel, JRS Vlog. Uh, Safari is for Ryan Knows Tech, because that's the one I, I usually work with. And then the Google Chrome here, which I also like as a browser, it just seems I know it's lightweight, but it just seems cheap lightweight, like an escort or something. Uh, but I have this email here and YouTube for the old Czech channel that most of you may not even know about. Then there's Fire Firefox uh, for the blogs. iTunes, naturally, what Mac user doesn't love music in iTunes? The App Store, I think we all have that. Aperture, something I rarely use but really like uh, for photo editing. It's pretty advanced yet really easy. I can come in here and do adjustments if I were to import something. This is not an application review, by the way, but I could import photos, do tons of adjustments and editing here, much more than, uh, say, iPhoto, but obviously not as much as uh, something like Photoshop, but naturally this is much easier uh, and quicker than Photoshop. FaceTime, never really use that either, but I do have it there for the chance uh, on occasion when I do choose to use it. Mail, I'm not going to open it. It's got some personal stuff in there, but uh, I have been using Mail and Lion. I actually really like it. You can come in here to preferences and where the hell would Mail be, but it's in there. Then you can import uh, your different accounts and stuff and uh, see the way that works. Pretty nice. Uh, calendar, I actually use this uh, not for planning events, but maybe what day is the 27th, you know. I'll just open iCal and there's the 27th, it's obviously a Tuesday. Um, so not the most productive use of that, but I do use it. Photo Booth, if you have not had a chance to play with Photo Booth in um, Lion, I do recommend that you do so. It's a little bit different than Snow Leopard. I would open it right now, but I'm in clamshell mode, another reason my video is not on iPhoto. Use this probably every day. The amount of stuff that I have in here in iPhoto. This is my wallpaper um, playlist here. Name the city. I bet a lot of people you know. Go ahead and name that city for me. But I've got, uh, let's see if we select all these. I've got 534 different wallpapers here. Um, but I, I don't even use these really for my wallpaper. I use an application called Wallpaper Wizard, which I reviewed before. Go ahead and check out that review. 
do a lot of biking around here in my town. Any cars I see that I like, I take a picture of. Here's a nice Bentley. Um, Flying Spur, BMW M3 over at our local grocery store. But I, I love iPhoto, the way that it organizes stuff, imports directly from the iPhone phone and iPods and iPads and then directly um, works with iTunes to be able to sync all that content over your over to your device is really smooth. iMovie, something I have not used since I got Final Cut Pro. It just seems basic, it seems unprofessional, it takes twice as long to export and it makes massive video files. No longer use iMovie. GarageBand, I leave it down there, it's part of the iPhoto, or the iLife rather sweet. I have used it before mainly for school, we actually had to learn the program for school. It's kind of fun to play around with the music in there. Uh, but I don't use it on a daily basis. Something I reviewed yesterday, ScreenFlow. Here's a blank template of what I'm recording right now. I love it. It's screen recording with video that I can't use because I'm in clamshell mode. Um, but check out my review yesterday. It's like 35 minutes. I apologize for the length of that video. Here's something I use every day. I absolutely love it. Final Cut Pro 10. One of my favorite applications on the Mac. Here's all the footage from vlog day 268, which was yesterday. Yesterday's video edited in ScreenFlow is right, or edited uh, in Final Cut Pro rather, is right here. As you can see, um, the total length, it says five minutes. That's not right. That's because I'm in the wrong project. Boy, I'm smart. But if we were to come over here to the ScreenFlow 3, view, 3 review, you can see it's 32 minutes and 57 seconds. And there's all those clips and what they look like put together. And I do have a, not an in-depth review like I did of ScreenFlow, but I have a little tour and little demo of Final Cut Pro coming up hopefully this week. But it is definitely my preferred editing program of choice. Also, I have an application here called Motion. Colt, if you ever get around to watching this video, I know I mentioned I had problems with it. It wouldn't let me switch back and forth between these things. It seems to be working fine now. So we can get on and make that intro and outro for our Tech and 5 podcast available on iTunes. I do use Motion for stuff like that. Soundtrack Pro, still part of the Final Cut Pro 7, or I believe they called it the Studio 3 suite. I love, I love um, Soundtrack Pro. Got the volume license here. It is awesome advanced software for recording and editing and working with uh, audio tracks. Unfortunately, I don't do it all that often and sometimes I just use Audacity as I'm, um, I'm more familiar with that and it's easier uh, for me. But I, I really like and would like to learn someday uh, how well Soundtrack Pro works. I was kind of uh, disappointed that they didn't update it. Being a high school student, I have tons of productivity uh, software here. Pages, Keynote, Numbers, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Uh, I really use the Apple Suite more as I can really work with iDisk. I have an iPad, take that to school a lot. I'll start a document there, push it up to iDisk, come home, open it up here, uh, work with it, push it back up to iDisk, and then print it wirelessly in my media center using the iPad the next day at school. Uh, really cool. love the way it works with MobileMe, and I'm sure that it will work just as well with iCloud once that's fully up. But I do have the Office Suite here. I have reviewed both uh, suites of software, both pages and numbered to Keynote and everything. Um, I like it all, but I do prefer Apple's version, naturally. I've got Photoshop, CS5. What good designer doesn't have Photoshop? I absolutely love Photoshop, but unfortunately I have not had the time um, to be able to sit down and develop and design and stuff in it as much recently. But I am looking to get back into that tonight. I know we've got uh, some stuff planned. Colt and I are going to be working on graphics and stuff. Um, the thing about Photoshop is you've never learned it all. There's always something new. You can go in there and uh, pick up something new and work with it. I absolutely love uh, Photoshop. I used CS4 before this. Um, CS5 is a nice improvement with Content Aware and a great application. Also got Activity Monitor. You know, sometimes it's it's nice to come in here and see how much RAM you've got or whatever. Last night I had about three megabytes free. I've got eight gigs. Yeah, OS 10 is real good at uh, usage. Disk usage is a little scary here on my SSD. I've only got 12 gigs free, but I can delete that whole 10-minute, uh, 30-minute video from yesterday. Under network here, I've got some stuff. See how fast I'm uploading. And I did a full review of this uh, application known as Activity Monitor. It's only on the Mac. Be sure to check that out. System preferences, naturally. Skype, use it all the time. Twitter, love Twitter. Um, I do use their app. I used to use um, TweetDeck way back in the day, but then they made this, and this is lightweight, real easy to use. Uh, use that all the time. And then Adium, kind of like iChat. It uses uh, AIM and Google Talk 
and uh, all that kind of stuff uh, right within an application. Won't open it because it's got personal data, but uh, I do use that quite often. Taking a look at just a few more applications that I may not have in my dock that I do actually use, uh, I went ahead and opened up the applications folder here. You can see everything in here. If you have any questions on anything you want to see a review of, be sure to send me uh, an email, ryan at techinform.us, leave a comment to this video, send me a personal message, and uh, please keep in mind that I have done a lot of the reviews of the applications in here uh, recently. Should be sure to check out my channel, search for what it's called, and chances are you're going to find it. Um, things that I didn't talk about earlier in the video, Asphalt 6 is a great game. have not had a chance to play it for a while, but I do have a review of that. I mentioned Auto or uh, Audacity before. Autodesk is CAD or Computer Assisted Design. That's pretty interesting if you're into that. Um, Cinch, I did do a review of that. That's the application that allows you to use the Windows 7-esque um, dragging windows around to make them fit the screen differently. Uh, cloud, I've been using that to upload media. It uploads a picture or a screenshot or whatever file I want instantly to the server and then pastes the link to that file directly on my clipboard so I could take a screenshot, wait two seconds for it to upload, and then tweet it. Really easy. Did do a review on that. Clean my Mac, reviewed. Uh, cloud, just talked about that. Coconut battery, uh, did a review of this in the past. It's going to show you your battery health and the age of your Mac and some information with that. Uh, Dimmer Than Dim reviewed that, reviewed disk speed tests there. Uh, down here, Geekbench, I have not really, I, I don't think I've touched on this yet. I am going to be shortly when I do the MacBook Pro review. GFX card status, that's going to let you switch back and forth between your discrete and integrated graphics card on the 2011 15 and 17-inch MacBook Pros, as well as the old 15 and 17, I think. Keyboard cleaner reviewed layers, kind of interesting, probably review that. Just reviewed Mac Tracker last week. Uh, a good game that I have here is Rail Maze. It's really addictive. It's free. It's in the App Store. Just check it out. I am going to do a review on this later this week or next week. It's pretty easy, uh, mind-numbing, but very entertaining. Uh, much more addictive than you'd think. Spotify, yeah, whatever. I think I'm going to wait for the Apple version of this stuff. I tried to get it to work. It didn't really turn out too well. Personally, I'd rather have the physical library on me, so if I don't have an internet connection, I'm always going to have the music. Tiny Grab, used to use it, don't really use it anymore. And then naturally uTorrent, if I need some torrent files, VLC for uh, actually Family Guy that I have. And uh, Wallpaper Wizard, which I reviewed before, but I've gotten tons of comments. What do you, where do you get these wallpapers? Have you taken the pictures? Where do you find them? I just hit Option W on my screen, and it goes through um, thousands, literally thousands of wallpapers. And every day, I mean, I, I have new ones that I haven't seen. I haven't seen any. I've seen that one. I haven't really seen any other of these, though. And it's, it's just great because you can go through, you're constantly something new and different to look at. It is not a free application, but I did do a review on that in the past if you'd like to find that. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw here in this clip. Or uh, if you're excited about some things that are coming up in the future, or maybe you like the stuff in the past, uh, let me know down below in the comments section. Be sure to check out our site, techinform.us. Colt and I are going to be doing some things here tonight, uh, just some upkeep and work. We've been pretty busy lately, so if you've submitted things to, uh, to the publishing stage and it's been more than our 24-hour deadline, we do apologize for that, and we look to have everything caught up. Uh, later on today, on Wednesday, September 7th. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, and I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's or Thursday's video. Bye.